Hi there, I'm Autumn Works, and today I'm going to show you how to play Charlie Christian's solo over the tune Holy Cats. It's a song from his Genius of the Electric Guitar album, and I'm going through that album and looking at all the solos that he's playing and breaking them down for you. First I'll play the solo for you, then we'll analyze it together. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so this song is going to be another blues in the key of G, and what he's going to start off with in his solo is this, right? So he's emphasizing the minor third, not the major third. And you can think of this as coming out in this shape, or as it's from this G minor arpeggio, right? So. So there, there's our other G triad, right, but on the A, D, and uh, G string. So it's G, B, D, right, and he's hammering on to the third. So that whole phrase sounds like this. Here's the next part. Again, he's hammering on to that third, right? There he's going to the A, which is the ninth. Okay, and then he's going to hammer on back to the third here, and then do a chromatic walk down to the root, which is G, right? And then go to C here, because now we're at the four chord. And so now we're playing over C7, okay? So for that, he's going to go... Alright, so here, we have our C root position triad, right? C, E, G. So when I'm playing down here, I'm thinking out of that shape. And here... That's our G triad, right? G, B, D. Now, the next thing he's going to do is hit these two notes together, okay? And these are the tension notes of a C7 chord. Because you have E, which is the third, and B flat, which is the flat seven. So, tritone, right? Very nice tension there. So again, So again, that's all in that G triad, G, B, D, and then B, D, G, right? All right, then he's going to slide up here to this G triad, G, B, D, and he's going to slide in to that third, the B, right? And this is a common shape that he uses. So for this shape, he's going to slide into the B here. And then he's going to hit the C and back to B. So it sounds like this. Right? So right here, we have a D minor triad, which D minor is the minor five chord of G, right? G, A, B, C, D, okay? And so that's very common in Charlie Christian with Montgomery style playing where you play a minor five arpeggio or a triad over that, that uh, root, right? 
right? That type of sound, okay? So And so this is all chromatic. All right? So now he's here on the B flat, which is the flat 7 of C. So again, we see this shape that we've seen numerous times as we look at Charlie Christian solos. It's this like half diminished shape, right? And this is actually, you can think of this as a C7 chord. He's really emphasizing the notes and arpeggiating that chord. And when he gets to this G, he's going to that minor third to make, give it that bluesy feel sound. Okay, and then he's going to go here, and you can think of this as a C7 chord, right? Okay, because you've got the E, you've got the B flat, and the G, right? All chord tones in a, a C7. He's going to go over here to the, the G. He's going to go into this shape. That's another C7. It's that half diminished sound with C in the bass. Okay, so here he's doing another chromatic. So you can think of this as the five chord, right? D7. Because you have A and you have C, right? The flat seven. That's how I'm thinking of it. And his last phrase here is... So here he's hitting the E and then he's going into this shape, right? So you can think of it as an E minor shape and G major shape, right? And he just ends on that beat. Cool, so that wraps things up. Thank you guys so much for watching. You should check out my playlist where I go through the whole The Genius of the Electric Guitar album and I look at every solo that Charlie Christian plays. Thank you so much for watching.